Hi all, um, quick one about water filtration today. Um, <clears throat> this little setup is located way up in the hills in, uh, in Wales. Um, the water supply here comes from a well which in reality is surface water more than anything else. Um, there is a bit of a spring too but there's an awful lot of surface water coming into it. There is also uh, a lead mine within a quarter of a mile and another lead mine within a quarter of a mile and the whole place is riddled with small gold mines as well. Not that gold's a problem but wherever you find gold you find copper. Anyway, okay so what have we got here? Uh, excuse the state of that filter there um, but that is kind of the way it's going to go. So what have we got? Incoming water main, 0 0.25 uh, millimeter screen there, so that's going to get frogs and stuff out of it. Feeding through to a 20 micron filter, nice and clear, so that I can actually see what's going on. Passing through to a 5 micron, and then an active carbon filter. That then goes through a uh, P, uh, <coughs> sorry, a um, UV light to kill any kind of um, parasites in the water. There we go. So what have I learned about this? Well, first thing is I've learned that you need a bypass because it means that you can actually operate your systems while that lot is being maintained. The other thing I've learned is that as much as uh, one would hope, you've got a huge area of um, cold water basically here. So all of these are going to sweat in warm weather. Um, the only real way to do it is to make sure that the doors are closed so that there's not really too much air airflow around um, these. So if you can kind of stop the airflow around them, they won't uh, sweat so badly. Anyway, so how do these work? How do they do? Um, well, we all know what well water tastes like. It'll be really quite miserable. Um, this takes the taste right out. Uh, it also has taken my copper levels down from um, rather high to uh, acceptable levels. Uh, it's removed any lead in the system because that active carbon will take that out and all in all it seems a very effective little system these big um these you really need these big filters they call them big blue in america um you really need these 20 inch filters because if you don't as much as they say oh it'll take a certain you know volume of water through it yeah it will but you need a hell of a pump to push it so what you really need is you need some decent sized filters that will really allow some good flow um, and won't end up, um, you know, restricting your flow when they start to clog up, because that's the other thing. As you can see here, this one, to be fair, I just dug the well out and I let that come through, but you can't even tell that that's uh, an issue. Uh, these these work quite well. Um, I rather like these. Uh, it's a, it's a, a UV light, um, which basically does the same to microorganisms as it's doing to your skin, which is, you know, killing it. Um, and yeah, it takes about 5, 10 watts. You've got to be very careful how you spec those because you need to look at how much flow is going through them because if there's not enough light hitting the, you know, your flow, it flows too fast, um, then it's not going to operate properly. Pressure-wise, they seem to take a good pressure. They obviously don't take, you know, you don't want to be, um, you really don't want to be ending up with, with this in a frosty area because it will blow to pieces. Um, I, I will note um, that you do need a pre-filter like this because all the best will in the world from uh, from a well you're going to end up with some rather large lumps coming down it would be nice not to have it clear so you don't actually tell what's in it but there we are so yeah does it work yes it does does it take out copper lead yes does it take out what else does it take out it takes out the nasty tastes haven't tested for things like hydrogen sulfide but um, sorry, I haven't tested for hydrogen sulfide on the incoming. I have on the outgoing, nothing. Um, I bas basically, the way I tested this is with a, a, a home kit you can get off eBay, 40, 50 quid. It goes through copper, lead, hydrogen sulfide, goes through nitrates, nitrites, um, chlorides, a whole variety of things. And um, considering this is virtually no more than surface water coming in, it comes out beautifully. So, 0.25. 20 micron, 5 micron, actually it may be 5 micron and 1 micron thinking about it. Active carbon and a UV filter. Whole system, 350 quid probably. Um, you could do it cheaper. Um, you know, you can get smaller filters and, and actually it was 350 with about two years worth of um, two years worth of, of filters. 
Um, and flow wise, no problem at all, because those things are monsters. Um, you know, obviously flow from a well is going to be an issue because um, you haven't got much pressure, but it seems to work well. Um, anything else really to mention? Um, you've got to watch them for leaks. They are only plastic. Um, they, 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 and it's difficult to tell whether it's a leak or whether it's actually, um, you know, it's sweating. Uh, well, there we are, guys. This is the first of um, first of my work on this farm here, and um, I'll hopefully bring you more. Cheers for now.